I started uh, 2005, so when I was uh, 15. I got my black belt when I was 23, so six years ago. Um, I started Jiu-Jitsu because I wanted to learn how to fight, right? I watched the first UFC. I think at the, time, at the time, Frank Mir was world champion. UFC in different Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. There's something really interesting in it as well. So I was in um, Selfridges and I saw Martial Arts Illustrated the magazine. I remember it really clearly. And Roger Gracie um, is in London. And so I took the 237, no one which bus, no one's going, 237 Kensal Road. I took the 3 to 8 bus from my parents. I went straight there and that was it, literally. They want to learn how to fight. I think people, people don't like to admit that every guy wants to be tough. It's built into guys wanting to be tough, right? And then so, if you want to learn one martial art, I'll start with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Nowadays people say wrestling, but in this country there's not too many places you can wrestle. So in this country, definitely I'll get started with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu first. Um, but there are places to wrestle now. So there's um, legions where I go, wrestle twice a week with uh, Amir. So that's the best place to wrestle, you know? But except for that, there's very, very little wrestling in this country. So I'll start with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, definitely. Basically, I was watching the uh, first UFC uh, with Royce Gracie uh, submitting a lot of uh, big guys. And before that, it was watching the, the first Lethal Weapon film with Mel Gibson, where he did the uh, first triangle choke that I've seen. So that sparked off my interest in uh, BJJ. I started Jiu-Jitsu because I was uh, competing at the Judo London Open and I lost my fight because I made a very silly mistake while on the ground. And my coach recommended me to start jiu-jitsu to get some ground skills, and here I am. Um, I went through a divorce a long time ago, many moons ago. Um, I, I started jiu-jitsu um, mainly because I heard it puts hair on your chest and on your head. It's starting to work, it hasn't worked over there. Um, but jokes aside, my little girl here, she started jiu-jitsu before me. So it's mainly so I can be filming. She's asking me why I started jiu-jitsu. Mainly as a challenge, um, just to prove to her who's the daddy and who's the Anthony. In Pakistan, um, there's there's only one jiu-jitsu school, so my friend used to do jiu-jitsu. He asked me to try it out. I went and uh, I was submitted by somebody who weighed like 50 kilos five times in one in one round, and that was when I just started jiu-jitsu. My English teacher, uh, her son was in the UFC. So her son was a guy called James A.K. who fought in UFC and uh, I'd probably watched like UFC like a few times on television and uh, like for some reason I was just bored like the whole class, she was a supply teacher, the whole class was just talking real loud and I just started getting to know the teachers and she told me about her son being in the UFC and she started showing me uh, a lot of videos on it and I was like wow this is crazy. I went home, I watched Anderson Silva against Rich Franklin. Anderson Silva started kneeing him in the face and then uh, I went started watching like Cage Rage and stuff like that. Then when I was 16, I started watching a show called Dream. Uh, a guy called Marius Zoromski has won like a world title by like head kick knockout. The gym that he was representing was a gym in London. I went down to there when I was like 16. I started off training in uh, freestyle wrestling, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And uh, yeah, <laughs> once you're in, you're in. I'm looking for a wrestling class. And uh, I've never ever done this type of martial arts, I've never heard of it, never seen it, just never knew nothing about it. Because I used to box, I boxed for like years and years and years and years. So I knew boxing and nothing else. So I was a bit prejudiced towards it when I first started it, because I thought, no, it just wasn't what, it didn't fit into what I was used to. It took me a while to sort of grow into it. Um, and then, um, yeah, it just kicked off from there. Um, I wanted to get tough, but I didn't like getting punched in the face. So I thought, yeah, this is the martial art for me. I was just watching UFC, seeing how they were all choking them out, beating the shit out of them, not actually using their fists. Roger's gonna hate me, but no good. Definitely no good. Simple for my small brain. But it is, it's less complicated. But seriously, it's the reason I like him as well. But I like this class because it's a leg class. I prefer no gi, but I like gi as well. Um, it's much more dynamic, uh, much more fast moving. Uh, I enjoy both. Both are like gi and no gi. You know what? I've always done gi. I, I started gi. I've got a background in karate, so I felt comfortable wearing pajamas. Um, <laughs> I did no gi once upon a time, about three years ago. Didn't have an apps, didn't have any clue, and that's why I do the leg lock class to get a little bit of more, uh, get a little bit more um, no gi experience. Um, people keep saying the gi is technical, but um, look, technicality is way beyond me at this stage. So it's all, uh, it's a little bit academic. But um, I tend to do gi. Um, I quite like no gi as well. It's interesting to watch. It seems to 
seats get picked up by a lot of people, but um, I'll stick with ghee for now. I think I prefer no ghee because it's more dynamic and because I like to be athletic and explosive. So I think that's why I like more no ghee. Well, you know what? To be honest, um, I'm preferring no ghee now because um, at first I, I, I liked the ghee because I've I done, done a lot of competitions with the ghee. And I won quite a few good competitions like the Euros and stuff. I thought I'd slip that in twice and it's double champion. Just to let you know that and it doesn't get to go know that for your channel. But anyway. <laughs> So I've done that and um, and then this year um, some of the guys I train with um, doing a lot of MMA fighting and I was doing a bit of no gear with them and then they brought me down to here down to um, dance, dance class, tried it here and I don't know it just, you know when something suits your personality and I think it suits my personality more than the gear. And I could, I could get in tune with the no gear more than the gear and I, it's just something I, I started to get into and I thought yeah it just suits me. Uh, I prefer no gi just because I wrestle a lot and I find mixed martial arts so I find it a lot easier to adapt to uh, no gi in terms of uh, most of the stuff I know, most of the grips I know. I prefer it, it's a little bit faster and stuff like that but I've got a great respect for the gi as well, you know, the gi is uh, it's great, you know, especially for young children, you put them in uniform, get them discipline and whatnot. It's, uh, I respect it all, it's all good. Uh, gi, gi, because it's uh, a little bit slower, I'm lazy, and it's, uh, it seems a bit more technical. No gi. Armbar, for my god, close guard armbar. Simple, old school, old school technique as well. At the moment, uh, I like doing leg locks, uh, or because of Ed Ingram Mills. Um, but it could change, but at the moment, yeah, I really like doing leg locks. Yes. Got to be the one I get most in this dog park. Uh, my favourite submission is one and I'm a and the CBD, on a side note, this CBD oil is amazing. Please go to kingofcbdoil.co.uk. Probably be getting the back. I think in my case it's favourite submission that people do on me rather than me doing on them. But um, RNC is probably the one I I do do occasionally pull off every so often. Uh. Armbar all day. Armbar is what I get. I mean I love the triangle, but armbar is what I get. So I have to love them first. That changes, man. That always, always changes. You know, like uh, I like the, I like the red naked choke simply because. I have a great respect for a lot of these leg locks. They catch them, they break. But I think there's something really cool about the process of putting somebody onto their back, working your way through the hierarchy of positions, taking their back, choking them. It's a clean, clean move, and it's, uh, I like the sequence, the build up, the finish, everything that's great about it. Kimura track. I've locked off a few of them with Kimura. I won the Euros with that, just to slip that in. 2019. I won the Euros with a Kimura track. So yeah, Kimura is my one. Arm triangle. Learn three things in each position to work for you, and just drill those. Be aware of other techniques, and so make sure you just know what's good for you and make you practice. Advice for the beginner to start Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> <laughs> just keep turning up. Sometimes you might not feel like it, but just keep going. Just keep going. Yeah, you'll get better. Raspberry Ace. Raspberry. 